Back again, we're going to add to Kylie's space and add some of the flowers that are around Kylie. So, I'm going to do the white parts of Kylie's body. So, if I'm observing the original, which you can do whatever you like, but that's her little chest. They have little white chests. And then I can start fine tuning and adding little highlights to her. Once again, there's no right or wrong because all koalas look a little bit different anyway. That's her little mouth. And part of her little ears. And we'll be going over a few times, so it doesn't matter. We're just trying to get some, some layers down. That's part of her arm, and that's the bit of her bottom. Okay, let that dry. I might add her little eyes in. They're very cute. Just with some black. is quite pronounced and then she's got the little okay what do you think's the hardest part of painting Anna when you're learning ah uh, I think just letting things dry and um tr and, and not being too hard on yourself if it's not working just come back to it put it away and then maybe come back to it later you can see here that as much as I've tainted over the years, I still find things still, you know, not 100% easy for myself. So I have to still think about things and put things, put things down and say, and I go back to it later because it's obviously not your day today. So, yeah, so it's getting, it's forming, it's forming. So now we're going to do some of the flowers in the background. Oh, you, you seem gonna... to use the same water. I use the same water, but you can change your water. So I'm mixing a bit of uh, white with my pink and I'm going to just put some flowers there. It doesn't really matter where they go. You can put them wherever you like. You're the designer here. It's your painting, so you can do what you like on your painting. That's what I always tell kids when I go to schools, that there's no right or wrong. And usually what you've created is the best thing because it's come from you. So I'm trying to do some strokes, pushing it around. So it's not just boring. I'm trying to make them look a little bit like different flowers. And then I'm going to put, here we are again. So I'm just doing the centers. It doesn't matter what color centers you do, just as long as they're different from, from the flower, just so they're a, a contrast. And in that instance, it doesn't matter that it's dry. Say it again. Does it matter that the paint wasn't dry in that moment? Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't matter for the centres. It doesn't okay. matter. For, it doesn't matter for the centres. So now I'm going to get some yellow, and I'm going to start doing my leaves. So I'm going to mix blue with yellow to get some really nice green. And if I want to make it lighter, I'll just add some white or more yellow. So these are going to be the leaves behind Kylie. So I'm just going to do some, they're, they're my Anna leaves. They're just a suggestion that they're leaves. We all know they're not perfectly leafy, but you'll see at the end that they'll look very leafy. And I'm going to put some around the flowers because around flowers is always leaves. 
And so we'll see a little bit of our back background still, but if you cover up a little bit of the background, it doesn't matter. You'll see a little bit of it coming through and you can always put it back in if you really like the colour that you made. So once again, there's no right or wrong. It's just the painting is progressing as we keep going. And I'm liking all the colours that are there at the moment. And Kylie is also loving it, surrounded by colour. Okay, we'll let her dry now. Here you go. See Bye -bye. you soon, guys. Back again. We're up to putting the spindles and the stems all through the leaves. So we grabbed dark green. Yeah, so I've got a dark green and I'm going to make some stems and the leaves are going to come off the stems. So once again, get creative on how you do your leaves and stems. It, it doesn't really matter as long as we can see that there's some leaves and the leaves have been connected to something. You can use any colour you like. I'm just using the dark green. And I can, I can edge some of the leaves or I can leave them not edged. And I'd like to still keep a little bit of this beautiful background that I made first because I love that light green. Okay. I've got Kylie eating some of these leaves that are around her. She's sitting in the tree. She's wondering where all the flowers have come from. Okay, so we're going to now add to Kylie her arm, which is like a dark colour, just so that you can see like the original painting. So you've just done a bit of black and a bit of white. Yes, so I'm going to come up and add. So that's her arm. And she's hanging onto the branch. Okay. You can really do whatever you like. You can, you can use your greys, you could do it all in white. You don't even have to do the three different types of greys. You can make your koala like an albino koala. You can do it whatever you like. You could do a pink koala. It would still be gorgeous. Okay, so we're doing a little bit of highlights above her. They all look a little bit different anyway. I'm looking forward to seeing